Hello and welcome back to Tech It. So today I'm going to show you how to make some priming rails. Uh, these are good for all sorts of kind of traps you can make with these. So uh, this has been running uh, all smooth, so that's all good. It's all sorted. Um, See, so yeah, I looked it up here. We've got priming tracks. Basically, uh, do you remember the launches we made of quite a few episodes ago? We're going to put this into use. Um, so what a good thing you can do is is you can either use a come down uh, launch a rail as it is uh, to launch your carts and then if you use a TNT cart will uh, explode your cart on uh, on contact with the block all you can do is use another uh, a priming track which will ignite uh, your TNT like you would in the traditional way uh, so I need to some more launcher tracks there. Uh, I need to find myself some flint um, and also some TNT as well. Must have some TNT around there somewhere. Uh, there's a bit, there's some there. Uh, a bit of flint as well. I've got flint and steel, which is a full one, which is what we need. So. That's easy because you know how to make a flint and steel. It's just you know, flint and iron. Um, so we, I think we've got everything we need. Most of it is in my inventory for the rest. So hopefully we should be okay. Uh, so we're going to use some normal rails that we make with the rolling machine. Uh, standard rail going down the side. Uh, just make some rail beds like that and then get the creosote bottle from your coke oven um, so wooden slabs creosote above that make yourself some wooden ties oh, let's just get this like this and like that five that's enough uh, and then we make our rail bed <laughs> So many steps to make rails, it's ridiculous. Wooden rail bed, that goes in the middle. Flint and steel goes underneath, and then we need to make ourselves a pressure plate. Uh, do we have any stone? I think there should be some in the chest here. Cobble, we need two bits. Uh, now, I can't remember basic recipes. Uh, smooth stone. <laughs> See, it's just proves when you play mods for so long, you can't remember the vanilla items. So, pressure plate, did that close? No, it didn't. Right, sort it out. Okay, uh, so pressure plate above. Right, it's lying to me now. What is going on here? Uh. Hmm. Uh, ah. Oh wow. We've already made the rails. Um. So, what we require is a. Where's that pressure plate gone? I've just lost the pressure plate. Are you serious? Right. Okay. <laughs> Don't know what happened there. So pressure plate on the top. I made another one just in case it bugged out again. Uh, then we have our flint and steel at the bottom, uh, rail bed in the middle, and your standard rails on the outside. There we go, priming track. Okay, uh, TNT cart is just iron. Whoa, I need to get more prepared. <laughs> uh, I need here, I can nick. Yep. You are thief and dirty thief. Uh, so iron. Mix up some minecarts. Uh, um. He's only stacking three, which is a bit annoying. Uh, but never mind. Okay, so we got that. Uh, condense a bit of TNT. Shouldn't take too long. 
Come on. All right, so those back in. Now what we've got to speed it out with our iron. Right. Okay. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Uh, okay. So we'll place the TNT of those mine carts. Whoa, that's bugs right out. Um, texture pack needs sorting out big time. Um, so what I'm going to do is find somewhere in a bit of a safe location uh, and come back before we test all this because I don't really want to blow up my uh, beautiful house. So I'll see you all in a second. Right, so I found this nice little area here. Uh, this should be perfect for this. Uh, I've got a nice lot of space, uh, so that's the main thing. Uh, so normal track, booster track. I'll use redstone torches, power it, why not? That would do. That would do, uh, pig, I've already said that. Uh, so, rail, power it on. And then priming rail, you can go there. Or, what you can do, is put a launcher rail. Uh, you might have to judge the uh, sizing. Uh, too much stuff in my inventory, jeez. Uh, what do we, don't we need? A flower. Um, yeah, you can actually like jump the, the cart and then have it land somewhere and then blow up after that. So what you can do is just like set up a little little bit like this where it will ignite. Uh, you can set the fuse uh, on your ticks. Uh, so we like want an explosion straight away, so we'll have quite a low tick. Um, make sure it's all lined up, which is not. Uh, that's the wrong way. Well, this is like ridiculous. It's like just clipping. <laughs> Right, sort this out. Okay, so this should give you a demo. Power it on so it's ready to roll. And we'll have a little look at the power of this. Let's have a force quite low to begin with. We can adjust it if we need to. I'll quickly make another crafting table as well while we're at it. I've got nowhere to put this. Uh, so much stuff. <laughs> uh, pickaxe, just move that. Uh, it makes more. I can't just a test. Uh, I think will be good for now. So let's have a little look. See how it goes. Noob. Right. That's not bad. I think one more force will do it. Right. Let's have a little look. Just about. We'll set it to seven, and we should be good. Um, but obviously you've got up to 30 on this, uh, so it's actually immense what you can do, uh, how far you can actually throw these carts. So let's have a little look at the TNT cart at uh, a launch of six. Uh, oh yeah, they're the buggy ones, aren't they? <laughs> so it hits the rail, primes, bang. Beautiful. Uh, let's just put the launcher onto max and see how far we can take this beast. Uh, right, I'm going to, have to try and fly after this. This is, look, this is an immense distance it throws it. There you go. See how far that went. It's actually ridiculous. All the way from here. And then our set up point over here. Um, so that's the TNT carts and the launchers. Hopefully you can, you can all make something uh, uh, which could protect your base or uh, I'll tell you what we could do, put like a, a round circle of track with primers on and TNT running around it and you've got like a, 
a lever that you can activate to turn on the primer and it just blows up so you could like say um, enclose it in something indestructible uh, with somebody's house and say look uh, you're not going to be able to take this off and if you ever annoy me I will blow you know, blow your house to smithereens I'll flick the switch and end you um, so yeah that's the launch carts and TNT carts and primers and all sorts of other stuff so thanks for watching I'll see you all next time Bye-bye.